Hello everyone, summer is finally here and it is that time of year. So tell me, is this how you feel when you have to drag your hose out every time? Well, I have a solution for you, but you're gonna need this and this and a few other things. So let me show you how it's done. So I brought my assistant with me and we headed to Lowe's. Charlotte made a list of everything that we needed, complete with pictures. And look at what she wrote at the end. I shopped around and I found that the Mr. Landscaping brand was the best for the polytubing. And then they had all the attachments that you needed right there. It was really easy to kind of figure out what you need and grab it and go. Here's my haul plus things I had left over from the last time I did it. I bought way too much, but I hate making trips to the store, so I'd rather just grab extras. The first step is to put a hose end on the end of the tubing. Next, I stretched out my tubing so I knew where I wanted to bury it. So this is the part I was most anxious about. I was really afraid of hurting my lawn. So I watched some tutorials and they said to dig a trench about four inches deep and then be really careful and try not to break up the sod. That way you can just take it out, put the hose in and then just replace it. Then you'll want to stomp on a little bit and try to get it to seal back up so it can get reestablished. The girls found this gypsy moth caterpillar and named it Shadow and they played with it all afternoon and then put it in their butterfly cage. So there are a couple of benefits of putting in a drip irrigation system. First, it decreases the labor. Second, it saves you time and money because the water system is so efficient. Also because the water goes directly to the plants, it reduces weed growth. And then also it prevents disease from your plants because there's no contact with the water on the leaves and the stem and the fruit, and it just grows so much better. This trench system worked out really great. It really went back seamlessly. You can barely tell where the hose was. Just make sure that you give your lawn lots of water until it kind of reconnects and the grass grows in. As an added bonus, it was also a wonderful workout. I found that the football shuffle was the perfect way to get the sod to reconnect. So here you see I have three boxes that I'm gonna be running the drip line to, so I had to figure out how I was gonna put it in. So here I laid out exactly where it was going to go in. And then I'm putting on this tea coupler. It has a barbed connection plus a collar, which makes it really nice and tight. Now for the line that goes inside the box, I cut off a shorter piece of tube and then I went ahead and taped it off. That way when I shove it down underneath, no dirt or sediment gets in the line. If you're enjoying this, I would love to have you come and join my channel community where I share all kinds of home and gardening projects. As you can see, I went ahead and connected it and ran it up through. For the next connection, I used an elbow and I ran the rest of the hose underneath of the box and then connected it. I just wanted to make sure that my connections were tight, so I went ahead and turned on the hose to give it a test and everything worked out great. So now it's time to bury everything and put it back and start on the last box. To reach the last box, I had to run the tubing across the middle box and then I shoved a shorter piece of tubing underneath and then connected it with an elbow piece. That way it could kind of face downward. This worked out really great and I didn't have any kinking in the tubing. It was time to quit for the day, but I wanted to make sure that nothing got in the tube, so I just quickly put an end cap on there. You just kind of kink it over and make sure it stays sealed. With all the wildfires in Canada, we've had such bizarre sunsets. I really miss the blue skies. To add a soaker hose to the tubing, you're going to need a hole punch, and then you need a coupler added to the end of the soaker hose, and that helps get you a really great connection that doesn't leak. Then to kind of minimize the look of the tubing, I went ahead and cut it and made it shorter and capped it off.
Then I grab my landscape pins and as I laid the hose down, you just secure it with pins. It's great because it's super flexible. You can add it wherever you want it and you can even move it later. I love this in case a plant dies, you wanna put a new one in. There's lots of flexibility there. I like to put it at the base of each plant. That way the water goes directly where you need it. This part of the project was very satisfying. After doing all that dirty digging, now it was so nice just to see it completed. I love how versatile this hose is too. You can cut it and it's not a big deal. You can just add a coupler and attach a new line and you're good to go. When you reach the end of the line and you wanna cap it off, you just use something called a goof plug and that just stops the water. For the big box, I ran quite a few lines. I had a lot of hose left over, so I tried to use as much as I had. I noticed that the sky was smoke-free today, and the blue looked so beautiful up against the green sycamore tree. Juliet, my supervisor, came to check out my work. She was still in her church clothes. But she said that I did a good job, and I got her approval. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm so excited to team up with Rainpoint to share this smart water irrigation system with you. They even gave me a discount for you guys to use and I'll share it at the end of this video. But this is a two zone and water flow meter package and I'll show you how everything works. First, you're gonna to wanna to add batteries. The back was really great. It had a rubberized seal so you don't have to worry about water getting in. And then you wanna add this attachment piece. To get to the battery compartment here, just pull. Then just add your batteries and put the backpack on and then you can turn it on. So in order to use this, first you wanna add this attachment. That makes it really easy then to slip on the two zone meter. Next you'll wanna attach your hoses. I have one going out to my drip irrigation in my garden and the other is connected to my regular hose. And I love this function where you can choose whether you want it to be off or on. You just push the button and then it'll light up and you can see whether or not that side is on. For the flow meter, I'm gonna install that on the front of the house where I use it to wash my car. So same thing, you put the attachment on, slide the piece on, and then you attach the hose from there and then it'll track your water consumption. The flow meter is great for washing your car or for using a sprinkler or even an RV or filling a pool, anything where you need to track the water. Next, we're gonna set up the Smart Hub. I love that it displays all your water irrigation data so you don't have to go outside to see what your garden's doing. The hub, the water meter, and the flow meter can all be connected with an app called HomeGar. Setting up was so simple. They had lots of QR codes for instructional videos that walk you through every step. With this app, you can set plans, you can check the rain and set delays for that. You can set timers on things, you can check your water usage and watch everything in real time. Just, it's very highly controlled and you can do everything right there on the app. Then you can also view all that information on the hub, which is great because you can see it at a quick glance. Using the Rainpoint water metering system has been such a pleasure and it's been great because it's saving me money because I can schedule my usage, rain delays, and control my water consumption, saving me lots of money. For the healthiest plants, you'll want to water about every other day. It's important for the soil to dry out a little bit before you water again. My garden is now armed and ready. Bring on the summer heat. So I am so pleased with my new drip irrigation system. So the best part is, is that it's so easy to do and you can even do it in just one afternoon. So when I used to go on vacation, I have to use to ask my neighbor to come and water my plants for me, but now I don't have to worry about it. I can just schedule it and forget it. As promised, I'm so excited to share a discount code that Rainpoint has given me for you guys. They're giving me 20% off of this whole rain system that I've used. Here is the link here, and then also I'll put it down below. But that is just an awesome savings, and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. So if you're kind of on the fence about whether or not you want to put in a drip irrigation system, I hope this helps you and encourages you to go out and give it a try, and that you have a wonderful season. And if this was at all helpful to you, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!